Trial and Retribution episode 22 is aptly named Shooter. Our vicious crime family, the Bilkins, stamp their authority all over this story and episode. The head of the family, Lenny, rules his house and empire with a strong hand, aided by his wife Donna and sons Barry and Terry. I'm Gary Whelan, I play uh, Lenny Bilkin, and uh, I'm the father of these uh, mobsters that surround me, and we are um, the protagonists in this drama. The event that sparks and powers our story comes from the untempered aggression of the youngest son, Barry. I made sure Miller ain't going to make any deathbed statements. Three, two, one, bang, right between the eyes. Uh, I'm Doug Allen playing Barry Bilkin, the youngest brother. I kick off this whole this whole scene of sort of disasters and uh, get the whole family into trouble and basically bring the family down single-handed, so it's something I'm very proud of. You listen to me. Another risk like that and you're going to bring this family down with you. I speak for Dad. So you do as I fucking say! Our first victim is jewellery shop owner Colin Wilson. And he and his family soon learn the kind of people they're dealing with. I'm Owen, and I play Colin Wilson, who dies horribly in a jewellery shop. <laughs> Lots of blood propelled at the back of my head, all over a door. I've never died on screen before. I finally popped my cherry. We're filming tonight um, the uh, invasion of the Wilsons' household by a bunch of rough-necked hoodlums. It's a tour de force, a choreographed fight sequence um, and lots of um, smashing of pretend glass. Hi, I'm Linda and Pham and I'm playing Mary Wilson, the wife of Colin Wilson. Tonight we're shooting a scene where three strange men come and there's a lot of fighting and I get to jump on Gary Whelan and uh, start hitting him all over, so I'm a bit uh, panting right now, but uh, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. This story is especially painful and takes a violent and personal turn for our own dear Satchel. Unwittingly, Satch finds himself connecting the dots between the health club owner, jewellery shop killing and the Bilkins. Now a marked man, this job suddenly endangers his family and puts all of their lives at risk. Satch's pregnant wife and their daughter are targeted and have a lucky escape when they are taken and then freed by one of the Bilkin family associates. This is a message to Satch, if he didn't know it already, that these people mean business. Unbeknown to Satch, the situation is complicated further by a mole in the police team. DC Carol Short is the one whose actions have put him and his family in the frame, and he has no choice but to follow the Bilkins' demands and agree to meet Donna Bilkin in a wood, where he will be handed a large sum of money to keep quiet. The question is, can our team save him before the meeting turns into an execution? <laughs> the director of Shooter was Ben Ross, a professional and serious man during filming. However, we managed to capture him during some downtime at the health club location, when clearly the pressure of his job had muddled his mind a little. So, Ben. What do you want, man? So, uh, so, so, who exactly are you on this episode? I'm uh, D.S. Rosenbaum, the uh, special uh, Polish immigrant detective brought in to, to kick everybody in shape. And what's happening today? Why are we at a gymnasium today? Because I felt like I was giving everybody a really hard time. I'm Martin Marquez and I'm playing the part of Joseph Arthur Miller. I mean, it started all right. I was, I mean, read through was really nice. Everyone was really nice to me and that. And then, you know, I mean, started, started people ignoring me a bit, which wasn't too bad. I mean, don't expect to get on with everyone, but just, I mean, today it's just gone berserk. I mean, look, it's that, that. I think there's one there as well. I mean, it's just gone too far. So I mean, it's, it's like, Except, seriously, I've had a great time working on it. It's been a great crew, considering, well, not even considering they've been here nine months. The fact is, it's a fantastic show. I'm Stuart Lang. I'm playing a character called Jamie Johnson, who's in a relationship with Joe Miller. He owns this gym here. I don't know a lot about his past. Um, well, I do, but I've kind of, 
kind of believe that he's turned a bit of a leaf and he's not really getting involved with anything too heavy. It's got to a point where things have started to really flare up again and I've kind of been dragged into the mix. Look, I'm hearing it. It's on the street. Everybody knows I'll try and get you. Yeah, in the raw mouth. Well, call that copper back. Get protection. I've gone and lied for Joe to the police in order to cover him, which is kind of way out of my depth, really. You called dear Satchel because you wanted to make a statement? Yes. What about? About Joe. Joe, Joe Miller meeting with Lenny Bilkey. Go on. I was there when they met. But things have obviously got out of hand, and one thing leads to another, then Joe gets killed by the Bilkings brothers. Joe! Joe! Please help me! Do something! Joe! 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 <laughs> Why, why are you kissing the concrete? Marvellous. Oh, <laughs> state of you, that's why. It's better than kissing you, isn't it, mate? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> it's been hurt, Absolutely. man. Need a good, good kiss. Cause... Hello, I'm Celia, and I play uh, Carol Short. This is DS Short. She's a financial oh. investigator from Serious and Organised. I am a detective sergeant, um, and I've been working on a case for the Bilkins. Dear Short, how long have you been investigating the Bilkins finances? Uh, for about a year now. And you still haven't caught them? I think you're going to be a superb member of this team. But unbeknownst to them, um, I'm also tied in with the Bilkin clan, so I'm working for them. All I need now is a name. Satchel. DS Dave Satchel. But I have my reasons, basically. Um, so, yeah, she's kind of... My character's a, a bit of a loner, really. Well, she would be, because she doesn't... Um, she can't really be friends with anyone, because she's lying to everyone around her. Listen to me, you little shit. You do exactly as we say, or everyone is going to know about the ten grand you happily accepted. You're our man on the inside, like it or not. And we want to know everything. I've never worked with the gang before, which is obviously Victoria, David, Vince and Dorian, um, and they've, they've all been really good fun to work with, so I hope I work with them again. And here we are, behind the scenes. Yes. And this is the secret of the whole thing, as far as we're concerned. Trainers. <laughs> and bags. Yes. Huge bags. And fake nails. And fake nails. Yes. That's it. Fake nails. Lashings. That doesn't smell very good. Sorry, girls. <laughs> 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 the cheek! Everybody's got shoes they can't walk in. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and nails they can't do anything with. Yeah, or, Get or, out the or gloves as an excuse not to have the yeah. nails. They can't do anything <laughs> and fake deal sunglasses. And lashes are fake tan. Yeah. Which is going catchy. Oh, yeah. And that's sort of it, really. That's us. That's the Bilkins. <laughs> Good morning, Mrs. Bilkin. Mrs. Bilkin. Mrs. Bilkin. Ah, morning. Um, welcome to uh, Hartley Common. We've got a very exciting day today. It's the end of a kidnap sequence, and we are arriving with all the snipers. What I'm thinking is, uh, as I cue them, I might accidentally hit the barrel of the sniper's gun so that it goes towards Satch. Hmm, no, that's a bit mean. But it's a thought. Right, take. All rise. 20, take one. 